Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Heart Fire and Four Kai Strike as well. Gary, let's continue on from your last stuff. So, uh, somehow Croatia has this province. No, that's Russian. Thank you very much. So we got incredibly cursed Poland. We got incredibly cursed Serbia, and that's a okay. You guys don't have a battle plan yet? Oh yeah, because I uh, released these things. Right. Well, front line here. All of you are on that. Imagine we're going to get some more. There we go. It's so a question of Austrian. Well, Transylvania. We'll give that to Romania. Beautiful. We'll give that to Croatia. So there we go. We got a nice Croatia, nice Serbia. Most of our countries are looking incredibly cursed, but that's okay. Blessed Carl is still on the throne of Austria, even though we were at war with him, but that's a-okay. Don't worry about that too much. So, oh, we did to redraw all these front lines. Right. Okay, so, yeah, so you all go there. Your battle line is basically going to be straight push into um yeah push into germany from the north uh you guys at nice 26 you're gonna try to push your way straight to here your guys's plan is to push your way to this river your plan is basically push your way straight to turin and I think that's basically every battle plan here done, right? 26. 21. Yeah, everybody I think has a plan right now, so that's good. And these guys will go to Italy afterwards as soon as they are ready to go. So, we'll justify our war goal. It's only going to take 30 days. It will give them time. Reset my circus. Uh, manpower goes down. Western Thrace. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? I'm not too worried. So... Research slot. Let's go for better rifles. 207 days. We're going to slowly put our troops in position. And now you guys, I'm going to just take your forces now. You are going to go to blue. Greece, I don't think you're a threat for naval invasion, so I'm just going to take all of your soldiers. Yes, all seven brigades. You're all going to go to you. Okay, so that's that dealt with. You guys just dock, please. Thank you. Um, Turkey has like two divisions. Romania, we've already taken all their men. So I think more or less that's okay. Everybody has their plan. We're going to go over the uh, straits here. And then push our way up through two Sicilies afterwards. You know, in 30 days, which will be ready in... What day is that? Uh, June 8th. That's okay. I think enough time to prepare for war. Free civilian factories. Let's get some radar stations. They have no slots available. Well, that sucks then. So, radar stations, I don't think really do much for us at all. Um, Civilian factories then? No, we don't, we don't need that. Maybe just on this border here. I mean, we're not going to be able to build these all in 30 days. So, I mean, it's just use for civilian factories, to be completely honest with you. So. Which plane is this? You're going to fly over to Hungary now. You'll be down here. You can hold 1,200 planes. Beautiful. Get a bunch of interwar fighters. They will be interception, air superiority over northern Germany. How many planes do we have now? Because I'm assuming we just captured a bunch of them. At 2.8 thousand, not bad. I mean, France has less planes. Germany or Britain has about twice as many. Two Sicilies, or not two Sicilies. Uh, Italy has about 700, and Iberia has basically zero. So that does make things a lot simpler for us. Russia, just... If you can't deal with this, I'm going to be, like, the most disappointed in you. 
It'll be like, it must be very, very sad. So you're a worthy Entente. You're a worthy Entente. You're at war with France, and I'm at war basically just with Mongolia, but that will resolve itself eventually. So Sardinia's capitulated. Uh, that's fine. It's for researching planes. So is there anything in, in you that actually does, does anything useful? Division training time, construction speed, free repair, air production, naval production, resistance. The answer is basically no, so we might as well keep going down this tree, because I'm sure something useful will actually pop up. Air bases, air bases, air doctrine. So it's really just research bonuses. Which kind of sucks, like that's really like one of the worst ones you can get, I believe, but... So I don't think Italy has a chance. You know, once we send another 20 divisions, I mean like 44 divisions about to try to invade Italy in just a moment. Uh, in the beginning of June. So we got low manpower. 2 1, 1 1, 1 2. France is sending a lot of troops over here. It would allow, um, maybe the Entente to naval invade, like through Marseille or, or Versailles or Bordeaux or somewhere to the north. That's these Indies look pitulated. I guess Japan's been doing a uh, very good job down here. Are you part of the Cosmo Prosperity Sphere? Yes, you are. I don't even know who the hell you are, but that's okay. I guess that tells me to draw a war with Australia. So. We also need troops up here. I kind of forgot about that. So I could send troops up to the Swedish border. Like, eight divisions? I mean, that's not a lot, but... It's like, I think it's nine divisions, but still. It's not a ton. So... So, some guys up there. I think all of you need to be on this border. So, we come over here. We'll crush uh, the guys in uh, Livorno. And then try to push away to Turin. I mean, these are mountains, which does suck. But I'm sure it's not going to be that big of an issue. So let's go up to speed 5 at least until we are ready to go for an invasion of uh, the Internationale. And then we'll get a nice uh, non-aggression pack with the Entente. Not that that I think really matters too too much. How long do those guys actually get all the way up to Sweden? Um, you'll be there in 13 days. Like it's got to be faster to go through a port, right? So there's, there's no port up here at all? No, I guess not. But it's got to be still faster to go from here to here and then strategically redeploy up to the north. I would imagine so, at least. Then going all the way around here by land. I might be wrong. But... I don't think I am. So we've uh, got our Costas Belly ready to go against the International now. We're going to wait till our troops actually land. I don't know how many enemy forces are really here. So Sweden has no troops. That makes things pretty simple. So is going down. So. France. My good friend. Uh, did all my troops land? More or less. It's time to declare war. Call in all my allies. Of course, all my puppet states joined in. Not a huge surprise. Brisbane called in. Of course, we're going to... They have a non-aggression pact their faction leader. Oh, so are we actually going to do like some weird shit? And then called into the war. So who do you have a non-aggression pact with? Japan. There's a lot of really strange people to have non-aggression packs with. But we are worth uh, Italy now. So you guys are going to invade. Uh, you guys here are going to front line. Oh, can I have military access through you, by the way? We can't ask until June 11th, which is my fault. I uh, should have asked for that first.
Yes, get military access. Eventually, there we go. Put our troops here. You're all over there now. If anything, I should probably like get these guys into a brand new army. But there's no port here. Where are you landing? I have no idea. But I mean, if you want to do that, I won't, I won't say no. So who else feels confident? Blue does. So we'll attack you. Of course, we get a non-aggression pack with the French and with the Canadians. You guys can be aggressive. I think that's fine. Wait, how did I enable force attack? I don't know. Did I do that by accident? I must have. I mean, that's really literally the only explanation for what makes sense there. So we're building getting called into the war. I think everybody here can basically just attack to some capacity. Okay, no, the French did have a navy over here. Where's my navy? My navy is over here doing nothing at all. So, convoy escort in the Adriatic. Yeah, so you guys be over here now. You know, just deal with the international. So get Norway to have an non-aggression pact. That's okay. It looks like we're pushing to the north. We're pushing through Italy. 34. Nobody's on this front line, please. You're all over here dealing with this. Please stop sinking my, my ships. I mean, I guess those are Greek Marines. They don't matter as much to me, but still. It would be very nice if you weren't so mean to me. I oh, should be able to push that. Destroy some enemy supply lines. Well, we got the focus to allow us to build planes that'll do that. So we might as well keep up researching this stuff. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't really do much for us, I believe, but that's okay. Russia, you just stay over here dealing with Turkestan. Like, I don't think anything else is actually important. And you're just gonna push your way down to Stockholm. It's, sh it's shift click, right? Guys. Please do this attack. Uh, Britain wants to send them troops all the way up there to the north. They can. You know what? We, okay, we gotta build some tactical bombers. We don't have factories to really do that effectively, but... That's okay. non aggression pack with you. Sounds good. Rubber will get more from you. We'll get some aluminum. Any of our subjects have it? Yes, they do. Serbia. Give me some of that beautiful, beautiful, uh, whatever it is. Aluminum. Okay, that's a lot of men right there. That's a lot, a lot, a lot of troops. you got to be, like, pretty strong yourself, right? Like, you're already pushing your way through the South German Union. We're pushing our way through Germany. I would say pretty, pretty easily. And eventually France will fall. Or Sweden should fall. I mean, they have no troops, right? So, that makes things a lot simpler. Russia, you don't need to send troops over here. Just deal with Turkestan. Deal with Mongolia. Everything there should be alright. That's all I'm saying. Like, your alliance is doing very, very well. You've taken over half of Europe already. We're hopefully going to be able to push our way to Venice soon. I don't know how you keep attacking here. Like, that doesn't do anything. So, please stop it. So, attacks in Germany are going well. Down here in Austria, it's going less fantastic. But we'll just say back down to normal operations. 
think I'm going to set everybody basically to be pretty just, you know, regular. Not too complicated. Okay, let's shrink down your front line. To just be there. Okay, this should fall, I think, soon. Which will lead to the Union of Hanover collapsing. Uh, we are losing ships. We lost actually like half our navy right there. Beautiful. Um, yeah, everybody just like dock then. Just don't do anything ever again. Just hold. Don't fight the navies ever. Because the navies are incredibly scary. I guess we have a decent amount of troops up on this front. We did take over Venice. Is Italy still technically capitulated? Yes, they're still technically capitulated. Suriname has capitulated as well. Again, I don't know where that... I don't even know where Suriname is. I mean, like, I've heard of it before. I just don't... I can't place the location of it. You'll take this province, get another front going here. Okay, we're technically losing on that front, but that's okay. Um, Sweden, I don't think we need to worry about. Like, half of these guys don't have actually any forces. Iceland, Ireland, Ireland, and Sweden don't actually have troops, which makes things a lot simpler for us. Canada. It's probably too worried about what's happening with the Commonwealth to really do anything. It'd be nice if the Pacific States attack them again. Probably do want better landing craft for the future. Like, can you attack them again? Protect Colombia. I don't know. Okay, so Hanover's capitulated. Which is great news for us. You know, it's one more enemy dead. I guess that all went to uh, the Rhineland. I mean, again, these guys don't really have any troops, so... We're mostly just fighting French forces. And French forces are about equivalent to what I have right now. Yeah, this front line in Italy is actually going, like, pretty poor. Got a lot of French troops down here. Yeah, so we're going to ban in this front line. That's okay. Two Sicilies, you can deal with those guys. We are going to send some more guys to the far north, which actually matters more. We've almost taken Nuremberg. Nepal? Sure, why not? How's India doing over here, by the way? Are they at least winning? The answer to the question is no, not even slightly. Again, we don't care about what Japan's doing. Japan is not our ally. They're actually basically our enemy, I would say, more than our ally. It's just that... um. You know, they're not, they're not actively at war with us, but they're at war with the Entente, who are our allies, so... That does make, make things more complicated. How many troops do you have? You've won the vision. Okay. So we've, you know, taken a pretty, pretty large chunk of the German countryside, which is kind of what I expected. I think you guys want to stop for now. You're not winning any battles, so just hold position. Reorganize yourself a little bit. Get to where you need to be. Blue, you know, you guys over here who are fighting like, the grasslands and the plains are doing fine. They actually got a lot of troops down here. And I'm assuming we don't have naval superiority anywhere. No. Not even a little bit. Which is wonderful. The British, again, are just kind of annoying. He's got to figure out a way to, like, somehow land troops up there. 
I don't know exactly how we're gonna do that. You know what? Sure, if you don't need an Entente, we can have an Autogression Pact. I'm not even gonna complain. Did we lose the rest of our Navy? Essentially, yes. We have 18 boats right now, which is pretty bad. But I think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Not doing, throw your thumbs down. Want to see me subscribe and goodbye.